In today's video, we will see how we can do page setup and alignment in Word file or MS Word. Hi, my name is Vijay and you are watching Office Mom. Let's start the video without any delays. Whenever we will open Microsoft Word, it will look something like this. In the very beginning, we have got blank document and over here we have got templates, means more templates. We will click on more templates and over here we get to see calendar, resume, make a list, newsletter and so on. We will start with blank document. We will click over here and we'll click on create. And our blank word document is just in front of us. Whenever we will type something, it will appear over here. Hi, how are you? I'll delete this. I'll type a paragraph over here, which will be random and it will be just for example, plus or equal to rand bracket open bracket close and I'll hit enter. So our example paragraph is over here on left hand side, right hand side, on the top and in the bottom, we can see some space. These are called margins. We can increase or decrease these margins as per our requirement or as per our choice. In the very beginning, we will be going to layout. Over here, we get the option of size. We mostly use A4 sheet or just say A4 sheet is commonly used everywhere. So here we get many options as A4, A5, B5, A3 and so on. Even your legal paper is over here. Name of all the paper sizes are mentioned over here along with their dimensions. So you can select your desired size. I'll select A4. Over here we get the option of orientation. Means your page will be in portrait mode or landscape mode. Currently it's in portrait mode when I'll select landscape. It got converted in landscape mode means orientation of our document got converted or got changed. We will keep it portrait on the extreme left hand side. We get the option of margins, normal, narrow, moderate, wide and mirrored. If you want to go ahead with narrow, you can select this and the margins from left, right, top and bottom will decrease. These are the same margins regarding which we talked in the very beginning of the video. I'll go to margins once again and from here I'll select custom margins. From here we can increase or decrease the margins of the page from top, bottom, left, right and over here we get to see gutter. Now what is gutter? Suppose we are creating or writing a book which is supposed to be binded either from left or top side and in this case we need to manage the space from left or top. So gutter selection will do it for you. Currently it's in the left side. I'll increase the size and you'll notice some space over here. If I select top, the space will be shifted to top part of the page. Once done with this, you have to do OK. And the space from top is visible now. Means our document is ready to be binded now. I'll undo this. Columns. Over here we get to see the option of columns. 1, 2, 3, left, right and over here we have got option of more columns. If I select 2, my document got divided in 2 columns. Currently the matter on page is very less so we are able to see only one column. I'll increase this. I'll select all, control A, control C and I'll paste over here. Now I'll go to columns and we'll do it 2 column. So our data got divided in 2 columns. When I'll select 3, it will be divided in 3 columns. I'll click over here on the drop down and we'll go to more columns. From here, we can increase the number of columns as per our requirement or as per our choice and we'll have to do OK. I'll undo this. Over here, we have got a single page, page 1 of 1 and total words are 478. I'll delete something from here. So I want just this much of matter in my first page. Now I want to insert one more page just below this. So I'm not going to hit enter again and again to insert the new page. I'll go in insert pages and over here I'll select blank page. And my second page got inserted over here very easily. I'll go to top. In case I want to insert another page just above this, I'll have to go in pages once again and we'll have to select blank page. 
our page was over here and a new page got inserted or cover page got inserted just above this i'll undo this in case you want to insert another page just below this you can select page break also and the new page will be inserted just below this i'll undo this i'll go to top i have got my text or my matter over here and i want to change the alignment so i'll select this control a we'll go to home and over here we get the option of alignment if you want you can use shortcut also control r and all the things will be aligned in right in case you are using macbook you will have to press command instead of control control l and it got shifted in left side control e for center alignment and control j for justify means the document will be adjusted from both the sides control l for left alignment control r for right alignment control e for center alignment control j to justify but in case you are using macbook you will have to press command instead of control i am sure you must have loved the video please don't forget to like share and subscribe see you soon with a new topic till then bye bye